Planning is still underway, even though most of it will be virtual. President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, they are keeping one tradition in place. They do plan to take their oaths outside of the U.S. Capitol building, like it's done every year in modern history, but also helps with COVID-19 protocols. And just a reminder, Biden's team is urging you to watch that swearing in from home. This virtual inauguration will look somewhat similar to the 2020 virtual Democratic National Convention. As Colby Satterfield explains, even though organizers are telling you not to show up, they are still preparing for some people to celebrate in person. Cows on the mall. Nope, I'm not talking about the farm animals. I'm talking about these. They're called cells on wheels and they've got people talking. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what it is. Fenced off tall towers are popping up along the National Mall, causing people to look up and try to guess what it is. It looks like some kind of like uh like radar or some kind of detecting something. People on social media are also confused. One person tweeting out asking if anyone knows what's up with it, while others have documented it. This thing just got here overnight. One Twitter user has the answer to what exactly these are. Brendan Carr, commissioner of the Federal Communications Commission. He put on Twitter these towers are called cows, and they are turning up across the National Mall and Capitol ahead of Inauguration Day. So what are they? Carr says they are cells on wheels, cows, and they are temporary cell sites that add capacity and boost cell speeds. Carr told our Adam Longo on Twitter cows and sometimes colts, cells on light trucks, are brought in when officials expect more people to gather in an area than normal or more than permanent network is designed to handle. But this year, the presidential inaugural committee is designing a more virtual event. President-elect Joe Biden's inaugural committee said in a statement, quote, the ceremony's footprint will be extremely limited and the parade that follows will be reimagined. But Carr says the temporary cell tower setup appears similar to past inaugurations, and he's not sure how COVID-related crowd numbers factored into these towers popping up. Towers that are here, here, and could be here until after Inauguration Day. NDC, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.